Hello everybody. I'm in the car again and I'm starting to realize that it's better for me to do videos like this. <laughs> Cause uh, I'm, I got an hour and 40 minute drive to Tappahannock, Virginia for a paint party with maybe possibly 50 women. So I'm very excited. And then today I got my hair natural. Curls is popping. Anyways, so this is the uh, first video to the organic versus process or process versus organic, however you want to put it. And um, I wanted to talk about process first. So, in my first intro, I was talking about how processed and organic, uh, you know, those type of people or whatever, and uh, which one you don't need and which one you do need. And of course, processed you don't need and organic you do need. So, today I kind of wanted to start with what you don't need because... Um, yeah, that's just what I wanted to do. So, process. Um, I love processed food, and I really need to stop eating it because um, I've never weighed the weight that I do now, and uh, I'm not too happy about it. So, yeah. So, <laughs> processed food can be very good at the time that you're eating it. But then later on in life, you start to realize what it does to your body and it doesn't feel good. Like, for instance, me getting heavier, um, my knees hurt, my back hurts, stuff starts hurting. And you're like, what is going on? And eventually, like, you have to slow down. I'm going to try not to say like a lot. But eventually you have to slow down and start uh, realizing what you're putting in your body to make you feel this way. Um, not only does it make your joints hurt, but it's just like you just don't look good. Like your skin can get affected. Um, just different little things. And the fact that, you know, it does that. It's not it's you just need to stop it so that's the same with like processed people it's like you don't like they're good for the time being but you don't realize what they're actually doing to you in the long run and it's like sometimes people realize too late but then again sometimes people stop it before it gets to the part of it damaging them and that's why I'm putting these videos up for people to stop before it damages their um, destination of what God has for them. And you just want to nip it in the bud. Plain and simple. So, um, I literally need to stop eating processed food. Now, I heard... Now, this is something that somebody could probably answer for me. Um, I've heard when you go vegan, uh, there's a there's sometimes a lot of processed stuff that you can eat that's not good for you. Now, I wish I hope somebody like comments or something and tells me that, but you know like I said with the organic in the other video it takes time to get to know what exactly you need to eat for your body to be healthy and you can't sometimes eat what everybody else eats for being healthy because that that organic thing might make you gain weight and it actually might be bad for you so that's why you know it is good to take time to sift through what you need organically for you so this whole process of trying to weed out who's processed and who's organic for you it's going to take time it's not going to be an overnight thing um and 
and it might take a couple years for you to realize who is who but the fact that you're putting effort in it will definitely be better for you in the long run so you know that's what I wanted to say about process because you don't realize at the time that it's hurting you and it, it seems like it's good for you in the in the moment but later down the line you'll start to realize like wow like I'm starting to pick up these habits that other people are picking up I'm starting to like my spirit's not starting to feel right I'm starting to feel like these all these emotions like anger um, doubt guilt jealousy envy rage why am I feeling this way it's because of who you're surrounding yourself with and if you want to be successful, you literally have to take who you're hanging around to heart. Because, like I said, in the long run, it might just demolish your whole future, your bright future that God has for everybody um, that he creates. Everybody has a future. Um, there's not one person that does not have a future. So it's not up to us to judge whether that person does or not. But it's like in the process of them getting to their future, it's up to ourselves to try to make sure we get there in the healthiest way possible. And that always doesn't have to do with food. Uh... Like I said, it has to do with who you hang with. Yes, food definitely contributes to it because, you know, with processed food, you get sluggish and you don't want to do anything but to sleep after. And like I said, I need to stop doing it because <laughs> I love some Chick-fil-A. I love French fries. I love, what else do I love? I love Mexican food. Um... I love Mexican food, which has a lot of cheese and stuff in it. And it's just like, after I eat all that, I don't feel like doing nothing. And just imagine the people that you're around that are processed. You don't feel like doing nothing. You don't feel like thinking about your future. You don't feel like, let alone even seeing if you have a future or seeking it out from God. So... That's what I wanted to go over today, the process, and, um, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a pastor, I'm not anything, but just trying to tell you from experience that I've been through, and you can take it or leave it, but I'm just trying to help whoever is here to listen, <laughs> so I want y'all to have a good day, and, um, be blessed and try to enjoy your Saturday and uh, go Cowboys. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. My next video will probably be on organic and I'm going to try to like, you know, do maybe one or two more videos on this and then I'll be done with it. But I just been sitting on that theory for a long time. Like, hmm, I can relate process and organic to actual people not just food so you all have a good day and i'm gonna try to get to my destination as soon as i can talk to you later bye